people always want a break from their family members. But you gotta be careful what you wish for, because that break just might become a permanent one. So with that being said, welcome to our list of five disturbing unsolved kidnappings. Viewer discretion is advised. Angela Hammond. Angela Hammond was four months pregnant when she disappeared from Clinton, Missouri in April of 1991. She was last said to be talking on a payphone to her boyfriend outside of a grocery store at about 11.45 p.m. Details indicate she was explaining to her boyfriend about a pickup truck that pulled into the parking lot with a grimy looking white man inside. Not much later, Angela's boyfriend heard her scream as he rushed to the store reportedly passing a pickup truck on his way. He heard someone yell, Robbie, out of the window. As he turned around to follow the truck, his transmission died two miles later, and that was the last anyone ever saw of Angie, as the case is unsolved. Eaton Pats. It was a May morning in 1979 when six-year-old Eaton Pats' parents finally felt safe letting him walk to the bus stop alone in Manhattan. But on that fateful day, he skipped off toward the bus stop and was never to be seen again. Eaton's face was one of the very first, if not the first, to be used on milk cartons in the early 1980s in a nationwide campaign to help locate missing children. In 2012, 53-year-old Pedro Hernandez told police that he had lured Eaton into a bodega with the promise of a free soda, whereupon he dragged him down to the basement, choked him to death, wrapped the boy's corpse in a body bag, stuffed it in a box, and dumped him in the trash. Hernandez later recanted his confession, and a trial this past May ended in a hung jury. Timothy James Pitson. In May of 2011, six-year-old Timothy James Pitson was taken out of school by his mom who proceeded to take him around to local water parks and zoos in the state of Wisconsin. The day he went missing, his mother allegedly called family members who claimed they heard Timothy in the background complaining that he was hungry. Three days after the pair vanished and Timothy's mom was found dead in a motel room, she had killed herself and left a note that said, Timothy was safe and would never be found. Dorothy Distelhurst Dorothy was kidnapped in 1934 at the age of five. She disappeared while walking home from school, but confusingly, her family received dozens of ransom letters, all of which came from different sources, as they really didn't know which one to respond to, if any. But one letter claimed that if they did not pay $175,000, their daughter would have her eyes burned out with acid. They didn't pay the money, and just weeks later, Dorothy Distelhurst's corpse was discovered and her face had been mutilated with acid. Adam Walsh. Little Adam Walsh was only six on the day of July in 1981 when his mother took him shopping at a Florida Sears store. She claimed she left him at an Atari 2600 kiosk as she went browsing for lamps a few hours away. When she returned, he was gone. And about two weeks later, only his head was found in a river canal. Serial killer Otis Toole confessed to the crime, but was never tried and convicted of it. Otis and his sometimes serial killer pal, Henry Lee Lucas, had been known for stretching the truth. So there's no evidence he actually killed Adam Walsh. However enraged by the killing, Adam's father, John Walsh, became a lifelong crusader against violent criminals and is best known as the host of TV show America's Most Wanted. So there you have it, our list of five unsolved disturbing kidnappings. Were there any other heart-wrenching cases that we might have missed? If so, mention them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.